In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called Understanding How Solubility Varies with Temperature and Pressure. In this problem, you're going to be given two experiments or two different scenarios, and then you're asked to predict an observation based off of the experiment. Some of these problems have to do with the solubility of gases in liquids. That's what's going on in these first two that we're gonna look at. This one says that um, you have an unopened plastic bottle of a carbonated soft drink, and you squeeze the bottle. What's gonna happen to the tiny bubbles inside the bottle? So this one's actually kind of difficult to, to imagine it, uh, what's going on here. If you squeeze the bottle, you are going to be kind of forcing the liquid up into the airspace, up above the surface of the liquid. So imagine a bottle of you know some sort of carbonated soda and there's liquid inside and then there's this space of gas up above the top. If you squeeze the bottle, you're forcing this liquid to kind of move up into this airspace up above the top of the liquid. And that's that's going to take that gas that's up there in that area and it's going to cram it into a smaller volume. Cramming it into a smaller volume is going to increase the pressure of the gas. So the pressure of the gas is going to go up. And when the pressure of the gas goes up, that means the solubility of the gas inside the solution also goes up. If the solubility of the gas goes up, how does that actually look um, to us in terms of our observation? If the solubility increases, that means more of the gas will dissolve and we'll, we'll observe the bubbles shrinking and vanishing because they're dissolving in the solution. And this, like I said, this is actually a pretty tricky one to visualize. This one's a little bit easier to imagine. Same thing, an unopened bottle of carbonated soft drink. You open the bottle, there's a loud hiss, the gas is escaping, you've all done this, opened up you know, a bottle of soda. Um, when you do that, so when you have your, your bottle of soda, and that's a really bad bottle, and it's full of liquid, and you've got your pressure, your gas of CO2 in this space up above. When you open up the lid, the CO2 gas escapes the pressure of the gas inside the container goes down. And this means the solubility of the gas inside the beverage also goes down. If the solubility goes down, that means the gas is not gonna be dissolved in there anymore. The gas is going to start escaping the solution. This means what we will see is that the bubbles will grow. That means they'll get bigger and more bubbles will appear. And you've probably observed this yourself, opening up a bottle of soda, so you know that that's what's gonna happen. Let's look at a couple more examples, different situations. Um, this one we have, this is a lot of words right here. This is another gas one down here. So let's do this one first because we're thinking about gases and liquids right now. This says we have two unopened cans of carbonated water. Can A is in the garage at 32 degrees Celsius. Can B is in the fridge at eight degrees Celsius. Each can is opened one at a time. What can we say about the fizzing of those cans? So this problem has to do with temperature. Uh, pr uh, how temperature affects the solubility. When we have a gas at a high temperature, that means that it's, or that correlates to a lower solubility. The solubility of a gas decreases as temperature increases. And if we have a low temperature, that means that we have a higher sol solubility. solubility. So for our for our gas that is colder, the eight degrees, that beverage is colder, which means that it has a greater solubility of gas. Greater solubility of gas means that when the container is opened, there won't be quite as violent of a fizzing and things like that. The warmer container, the warmer container has a lower solubility. So when the container, when this container opens, when can A is opened, because it has a lower solubility, it is going to be really excited about getting rid of all of those gases that are in there waiting to escape. It'll be a louder and stronger fizz. And this is something that you um, may have experienced as well. Now this one is about a solid being dissolved in liquid. Um, there's a lot of words here. If this says, I'm gonna try to find the actual problem here. Batch A, dissolving sugar in 500 milliliters of hot water. Um, and then batch B, dissolving sugar in 500 milliliters of room temperature water. So for a solid, 
as the temperature of the solution goes up, the solubility of our solute also goes up. Solubil at T. So our hot solution, which is batch A, that has a greater solubility. So more, uh, what do we have dissolving here? More sugar is going to dissolve. Now the question is asking about how much rock candy will be formed from these two batches. Um, since A is a hotter solution, more sugar will be dissolved. That means we're going to get more candy out of batch A because it has more dissolved.